repainted for us because it got rubbed off. Thank you. It's really good. Bowman's capsule is right there, just okay. that little outer edge. What do you want, the Bowman or the... Bowman's capsule. Because you can't say the other word again. Bowman's is a glomerular. So Bowman's is just easier to say and spell. If you can say it, you can spell it. Don't forget the apostrophe is. Bowman's capsule. Bowman was the man that described it. First. Oh, that's a name? So you leave right here. This is leaving. So all this piece clear to there is the proximal convoluted tubule. Comes out of the proximal and goes down. So there's descending limb of loop of Henley. Don't forget the whole thing. Descending limb of loop of Henley. So that's going down. Yep. Down there. Same. Ascending limb of loop of Henley right back. here coming up to this. I think the other model in the back, the older one, doesn't have this like little piece of art, basically artery or arterial right there. I think is the difference. So once you get to the bend, this starts the distal convoluted tube. Okay. So between my fingers. All the way down. Okay. And cross off the pillory again. This doesn't go down far enough for that to be the pillory. I know why Susan put it there so her students would remember that that ends into the actual calyx. But it's not really far enough on there. And then we've got the blood spot. So we pick up with the interlobar, RQ8. The, the problem with this model itself. These definitely, the RQ8 should be touching each other side by side. Okay. But RQ8, so from interlobar to RQ8 to interlobular. Into, and it's arriving, so there's your afferent arterial. Those are all arteries now, arterial. Into the glomerulus. Out the afferent, so all the way from here to here is all afferent. Arterial. Then your peritubulars paralleling each other. And the connectors are the vessel right there. And they are combined totally, so it's truly an and. The connecting ones, all the little guys in between. Yeah. All of them. The, the connection. All of them. Maybe. Every one of them. Arterial. Arterial. Those are actually capillaries. The vasa recta is part of the capillary bed there. And then you have a little venule that we ignore the name of. And then you're back into, this was an interlobular artery, there's an interlobular vein, arcuate vein, interlobar vein. Then back to the segmentals, back to the renal and the inferior vena cava. Do your heart, back to your lungs. There's no renal <laughs> cortex or renal medulla. Yes, the renal cortex is this tissue. Renal medulla is this tissue. Below the arcuates would be renal medulla, and all this above is renal cortex. And there really would be none of this in between. In reality. Urinary should be on the opposite column.